so today is practice day. We are testing robots, um, not just testing the mechanics, but we're also testing autonomous, uh, whether we can score or not, and uh, real life or game situations so that the kids are prepared. It should be fun. I just decided to record pretty much everything that we do in order to have something that my students can look back on and say, hey, that was me. And look at all the hard work that I put in trying to become the best. Um, robotics is not an easy sport. And I say sport because it is. Um, these kids are a team. Uh, they work together. They have to be able to trust each other. Um, they have to be able to overcome obstacles and be positive and try to encourage each other in a way that propels them forward and not backwards. So um, yes, it's a sport. It's extremely stressful. There are times where you get angry. Uh, angry for things not working the way they're supposed to, for not being prepared enough. And that's basically what this whole video is about. Uh, trying to be prepared for VEX competition. VEX competition is extremely competitive. But a lot of the competitiveness comes from just knowing what's going to happen when it happens and what to do when it does happen. Things like not having your batteries charged, motors overheating, not testing the robot before it actually gets in the game field. Things like that cause issues and cause teams to lose. And kids don't like to lose. They, they don't like to be looked at as a failure. But the one thing that I try to do each and every day is to let them know that they're just as good as anybody else. The reason for that is because they want it. They want it more. In years past, we've had success. Um, the students have done really well. A lot of them I've had for almost actually four years now. Um, and that's been our advantage, is me being able to coach them all the way through up until high school. And then when they get to high school, they kind of use everything that they know uh, to try to be the best. They've gone as far as uh, the Create US Open National Championship. Um, they placed fifth there. They were in first place on um, uh, competition Saturday. And they felt like they were going to take the thing back to California. But the problem was is we were inexperienced. Um, we were far away from home with really little sleep and uh, the joy of being very close got to us and we ended up not achieving what we thought we could achieve and it was heartbreaking. It was something that the kids just took with them and it's just been like a sore eye, a salt on the wound. And one of the things I tried to tell them was, you know, that year was an extremely successful year. They went and competed and won so many different things that even though they didn't win the national championship, they did successfully prove themselves to be someone to contend with. And they've carried that with them and they've been successful ever since. But every year is a new year. The game changes, problems change, which means they need to change. And they need to think quick and understand how to think quick. And I think that's important. Okay. So what's so exciting about preparing for a robotics competition? Okay. Um, it's fun just playing the, act, the, the activity and sport of it. Just competing with all the different robots and everything. Okay. What about you? Cool. Sorry to interrupt you, but what do you think is the funnest thing about preparing for a, ro for a robotics competition? Um, there's not a lot of fun in building a robot really, because it's a lot of mistakes and starting over, but I think the funnest part is probably testing it in the arena and actually getting to play with it against your other teammates. Right. I feel like it's a good way to see the progress you've made through the year and test your ideas against others. Right. So what do you guys think is, is the, the most fun about preparing for a robotics competition. Testing the robot, making sure everything works. Yeah, okay. seeing like the finalized product yeah. of like what you started. Okay. So being that you're not new, you've done this before, what do you what would you say to, to new people that are just beginning and just starting in Vex Robotics? Um just stay confident, try and have fun and just try and get everything done and get all your work done. You'll do good. 
Cool. As a newcomer, what are you so excited about in terms of uh, competing in VEX Robotics competition? Probably just the matches, honestly, and what you finish and uh, doing practice matches. Okay. Cool. Thank you everyone who's been tuning in and supporting the channel. Um, if this is your first time, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. There's going to be a whole lot of videos this year uh, having to do with robotics and my team's competition uh, journey. Uh, should be fun. Win or lose, the videos are going to go up. Hopefully everything that we're doing encourages other people to do the same thing. And if anybody has any questions, um, I'm more than willing to help and guide and, and give insight. And also, if you guys have anything that you see that we need to work on, let us know. I, I love the VEX community, so let us know. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.